351, 302. Pound for pound, which one you got? Undoubtedly two of the most popular Ford production pushrod motors ever built. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about both of these motors, some of their strengths, some of their weaknesses, and we're actually gonna go pound for pound with some of its parts. So if you enjoy this sort of content, stick around. Let's get into the video. What's up YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Got a really good video for you today as we're gonna actually talk about the 351 Windsor and the 302 that we currently have here in the shop. Our base model here is a 351 Windsor from a 97 Ford F-250 truck. And our 302 is from a Fox body 1989. Uh, this is an E7TE block. This is an F4TE block. Both of these blocks are roller blocks. As you can see, they both share the same lifter valley. As you can see, they both have the retainer. So I felt this would be a great video to go ahead and see which one weighed the most, obviously. And then we're gonna talk about some of the strengths and weaknesses of both these engines. Real quick, I wanna do a quick update. This is my 387 stroker that we've been building here on the channel. As you can see, I got factory Fox body pistons. I got factory Windsor rods in this block along with an aftermarket crankshaft. It's kind of one of those old budget build 387 stroker motors that you can build pretty much on the cheap. But again, we're not here to talk about the 387. This is just one of many variations from a 351 when you're going to build one. So now you guys know that I had, I've shared my experience on the channel with 302 stock bottom ends, 302 stroker motors, uh, 331s, 347s. You know, we currently have an 82 deck 363 stroker aftermarket block here in the black car. And we've also <laughs> really ran the uh, production 351 Windsor that we have in the white Mustang through the ringer, making pretty much a thousand crank power through the back of the motor into a stick shift car. So we've definitely have quite a bit of experience with these blocks in general. And that's what we're here to talk about. But first, I'm gonna give you the format of the video. Now I did title the video pound for pound because that's actually what we're gonna do here in the video. I have a digital scale here that we've been scaling our Fox bodies here on the channel. So I thought it would make for a cool video to actually show how much the 302 weighed in base form and the 351 and their rotating assemblies. But we're also in this video gonna talk about the strengths of them, the weaknesses and the experiences that I've had with them. Share some of the knowledges from the past years of uh, building these engines and bring it here to the channel. But before we get into talking about the strengths and the weaknesses and some of the determining features between the two blocks, let's go ahead, engine stand bracket off the back of these engines, and then we'll get over here and get the scale set up. I'm also going to go ahead and put that information here on the whiteboard just to kind of give you guys a visualization here on the channel. But again, this is a digital Repco scale that you normally weigh a car with. So it's got a heavy duty block for scaling. So all we really got to do is pull one of these out after we take the brackets off the back of the block. And we're going to go ahead and set it up on the scale, get an ac accurate measurement pound for pound on all those parts on who weighed the most, who weighed the less. So let's get set up so we can get the weigh in on our parts. This block right here was in poor condition outside. It looked kind of terrible, but when we got into the internals of this 351, it was in amazing condition. This 302 was just a stock block, 150,000 miles. It also had a really good bore. This is gonna be Cousin Paul and Sandy's block that we're gonna rebuild with GT40 stock bottom end. So let me get this bracket off and we'll pull the scale out and we'll start scaling this stuff. All right, so both of these blocks actually have the same parts. They both have all their main caps and bolts in. A couple things that might weigh a couple ounces, but you guys will get the point here. So pretty easy setup here. We're just gonna go ahead and take this one digital part and you can see it's actually gonna move. And that's how we're going to weigh these blocks. So let me switch you back over to my helmet cam. After I weigh both blocks and put the numbers here on the whiteboard, then we're going to weigh the crankshafts. Um, then afterwards, we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about the strengths and some of the features of the two different blocks. So stick around, we got a lot to do here. All right, here we go. We're gonna weigh the 351 Windsor first. So the 351 Windsor weighed 172 pounds on the scale. So we went ahead and marked it here on the whiteboard, 172 pounds, blocking caps. Now we're gonna take it off the scale and we're gonna get the 302 over here and see how much it weighs. Now we're gonna weigh the 302. Okay, so the 302 bare block weighed 128 pounds even. 
So he went ahead and marked 128 here on our whiteboard, 172, 128. That's almost 50 pounds in the difference between the two bare blocks. So now we're gonna go ahead and get the crankshafts over here on the scale and we're gonna weigh them out as well as the pistons and rods from the uh, respective blocks. Uh, we're only gonna multiply the piston and rods by eight because they pretty much weigh the same. So we're not gonna get crazy with, you know, trying to weigh each and individual one. Guys, I left the cylinder heads out of it. I left the intake off of it. The 351 intake naturally is gonna be a little bit heavier. It's bigger, it's wider the, from the deck height of the engine. Uh, the, you'd be surprised the cylinder heads are probably about the same, if not exact, because I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, at least the roller blocks, the E7TE heads were the same heads that were used on the uh, Fox body Mustang 87 and up anyway. So all we really wanted to do in this video was take both of these short blocks and weigh them in production form. You know, we'll talk about more of that stuff towards the end, so stick around. All right, so we're gonna weigh the factory Fox body piston. Now, you notice the rod's a little bit different. This is actually a rod from a, an Explorer block. This is an F1 rod. It's the same gram weight as the D1 rod. Uh, somebody had already changed this stuff in this block before, but nonetheless, it's probably weighs about the same. So 302 piston rod weighs pretty much three pounds. I should gram them out, but that's okay. So three pounds, times eight equals 24 pounds. All right, so now we're gonna weigh the 351 Windsor piston and rod to see how much it weighs. And it came out to four pounds here on the digital scale. So four pounds times eight is 32 pounds. Now, lastly, for pound for pound video here, we're going to weigh the crankshafts. Now you can see the crankshafts are considerably different. Um, this is actually one of the things we're going to talk about here in a minute about the 351 and the 302 and their features. Um, we're going to go ahead and put those on the scale. We'll get the whiteboard filled out. And it came out to 56 pounds. As I've already put it here on the board. and it weighs 38 pounds even. As we got it on the board, we got all our numbers here, we can start adding them up. I did notice later in the video that we were missing the cam retainer, but that's okay because I have the motor mount bolts in here. But either way, you guys get the idea, pound for pound, what the differences were. You guys see the figures here on the whiteboard? 180 pounds on a stock bottom end 302 and 260 pounds on a stock bottom end 351. <laughs> I was always curious to see how much one weighed more than the other. And we're gonna talk real quick on some of the features with these blocks too, on why they're stronger. All right, so what makes a 351 Windsor stronger than a 302? To be honest with you, the way it's always been explained to me is the 351 Windsor has always been stronger because of the main caps were, were a lot thicker than the 302 ones as you went to a half inch bolt and you can see how thick the main cap is compared to the 302. Also looking at the crankshaft itself, I mean, you're talking two and a quarter main journals versus three inch main journals as a 351 Windsor crankshaft is just mo more robust than the 302 is, which in turn helps keeping the rotating assembly together with more strength. 302 is an 8.2 deck height. The 351 is a 9.5 inch deck height minus the older ones were a little bit different. It's definitely got more on the block with the webbing versus the 302. So the 351's always been quite a bit stronger just because of the way it was built and the parts that were put in it. Now, does that make the 302 weak? No, not at all. A 302 with a good tune on a power adder could last some pretty good years at higher horsepower. As we've done that here with the black car on the channel with our stock bottom end 302 GT40 stuff, we split a couple of them, but we have achieved some pretty good feats here on the channel with that block. So the only time I would suggest considering even switching to a 351 Windsor is if you already need a rebuild on your 302 anyways, and you have the opportunity to go ahead and swap over a number of different stroker combinations that you can do for these blocks. You know, the 302 has the 331, the 347, and in aftermarket form, like my black car has, the 363 stroker. But that's aftermarket only, so we're not gonna add that. The 351 has the 387, which you see built over here on the stand, has the 393 and the 408. So like the 331 and the 347 also would have like a stock bore 327 and 342. Uh, the 387 is basically a stock bore 393 
and you also have the 30 over 4 weight which is a different type of stroker setup so there's a number of stroker combinations out there that you could use with these two blocks and all of them are a great so here in this video i just wanted to show you guys some of the weight differences i've always always curious of the differences between the two um, you build what you want to build they both will work well in your ford or your fox body or whatever you decide to put it in always remember if you start to power add them the tune is probably your number one mod to keeping it alive along with fuel and timing but that's for another discussion another day as I mentioned earlier in the video, 387 Stroker is getting finished up this weekend. We're gonna be doing a video of all the parts that we still gotta put on it. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to stick around for that as that motor's most likely gonna be going into one of our Fox bodies here on the channel. You just have to stick around and find out. All right guys, that's pretty much all I got for you for this video. I hope you guys enjoy me bringing content like this to the channel. I've always wondered how much a 351 Windsor weighed versus a 302. Now we know. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys think of our uh, weight scaling here, pound for pound of our 351 Windsor and our 302. You build which one you want to build, guys. I'm not here to influence you one way, shape, or form. Depending on your horsepower goals, this block can be just as strong as that block. You build your Fox body the way you want to build your Fox body. I just hope that some of this information might be useful to somebody, as I was always curious to see what the weight differences were anyways. So once again, thank you for watching. Check out that join button below. Become a channel member today. Support the channel. Outside of that, guys, I pretty much thank you for watching it this far. I will see you soon in the next video. Stick around.